Assembling your chroma star is very simple. The first thing we want to do is choose where we need to start our first pixel. Now in x lights you can wire this however you'd like, but there's actually a predefined model for stars which will make this a lot easier for us. When we choose that model, you'll see this later, there are different starting points. There's bottom center and top center, and you can wire it clockwise or counterclockwise. For simplicity, we're going to use the X lights default, which is bottom center clockwise. We will also include a link to the wiring diagram at the bottom of this video. Always keep in mind when you're wiring your props that X lights you have to wire from behind and it's going to be in reverse. So even though we are going to be going in a clockwise pattern, when we actually wire, we want to wire in a counterclockwise pattern. So the first thing we just want to do is get our pixel started. Right here we have some basic bullet pixels and you're just going to go ahead and start putting those through starting with the bottom center and we're going to go in a counterclockwise fashion until we have them all wired in. So here you can see we've got our first star in the middle wired ready to go from the front side, they go clockwise. From the back side, it goes counterclockwise. And we're going to continue that pattern for the rest of the pixels. So here is our completed Chroma Star with all 90 nodes plugged in. Now optionally, Boscoil includes their chroma clamp so you can easily attach your star to a 3 quarter inch EMT or PVC pipe. To use the coral clamp, it's very simple. You slide the pieces of the coral clamp through the pre-cut holes. And then on the back side, what you want to do is use the spacers that come with it. And we're going to put those spacers inside. You're going to zip tie all of that together through the pre-drilled holes. And then you can easily slide in your 3 quarter inch EMT or PVC pipe zip tie it nice and snug and your star will be mounted to your pipe. So that makes it very easy to mount it to a mega tree or other tree from Boscoil. It's a very awesome feature of this star. Well now that we have it all wired up and clamped and ready to go, we can plug it in and get this model defined in X lights and start playing with it. All right, now that we have our wiring done and our Chroma Star is completely assembled, we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up your model in X Lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the predefined star model in X Lights here. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click once to create the model. Now we want to define the variables. So in X Lights here, we're going to have one string of lights. There's going to be 90 nodes on that string. We have a five point star. And the starting location, this is what we mentioned earlier. We started at the bottom center clockwise. But we also have these other options top center counterclockwise, top center clockwise, and bottom center counterclockwise. Um, but again, we went with the default. Now, the next spot here is your layer size. So this is going to be the different layers of stars within the model. 
So for this, what we want to do is our first layer, the inside star, is going to have 20 pixels. The middle star is going to have 30 pixels. And the outer star is going to have 40 pixels. Now after we complete that, you'll see that Xlight automatically creates your model, which pretty much is exactly what we need it to be. Now one other thing you can do here under your strand names is Xlight's going to automatically take those layers and separate them out in which you can name them. So in this example, the strand 1 is going to be the inner star. The strand 2 is going to be the middle star. And strand 3 is going to be the outside star. So by naming these now, you'll see that when we get into sequencing, you can actually apply effects to each one of those individual stars on their own or the whole model as a whole. So we'll click OK here and everything looks good. Make sure you also set up your start channel and your universe right here. Um, in this case, I just have it configured on the first channel for the purposes of this tutorial. So now that we have our model done, we can hop over to the sequencer and play with it a little bit. So we'll just go ahead and create a new animation sequence with quick start. And you'll see our star shows up right here. If we double click, we have our inner star, our middle star, and our outside star. So we'll just create a quick timing mark and show you that it actually works. We'll go ahead and turn our output to lights on. And now if we drop an effect, you should see it light up. And there it is. Now what's great about this, if we wanted to do an effect just on the inner star, we can do just the inner star. Middle and outer star. So you can see setting it up is very easy. It only took us a few minutes to plug in the pixels and get it all set up in X lights and ready for sequencing. Thanks for watching.